there. My name is Kim from the blog queenofheartsclub.com. I've spent the past year experimenting with ways to lower my blood pressure through habit formation. And in 2022, I'm sharing those habits with you. Now, today's video at first glance may not seem like we're concerned with lowering blood pressure because we're doing a coffee bar revamp. However, studies have shown that the happiness hormone dopamine also lowers your blood pressure. So it's important to be intentional. It's important to make sure that the space that you're in is making you happy on a daily basis. And if it's not, then change it. In the past couple of weeks, I've been making what I eat in a day videos. And it occurred to me as I was making my morning cup of coffee that my coffee bar space right here was not exactly inspiring. It was functional and it was certainly not unattractive, but just wasn't boosting my dopamine levels in the morning. So I decided to give the coffee bar a little revamp. And today I'm gonna to show you how I did that. So this is what we started with. As you can see, it's very plain. In this cabinet above the coffee maker, I store all the things that I need first thing in the morning. I have some vitamins here and some cups for coffee and of course my maple syrup and a fun little sign that makes me happy and nostalgic for my youth. This plastic container holds vitamin containers for myself and the kids. My husband prefers to keep his at his desk. I take these out every morning so that everyone knows they have to take them. And then once they're taken, they put them back in this container in the cabinet. It's a nice system that we're all used to, so I like that. This is my favorite tea at the moment. It's a chamomile lavender from Chai Diaries, which I love. And uh, tea, a couple of times a week, has been known to lower blood pressure. So I'm gonna have to find some place to put that. Uh, this stabby stabby tool is what we use to clean out the reusable coffee pods. So that's very useful. As is this uh, coffee spoon that came with a coffee maker we used to have. Um, and we, we need to keep all those things. So what I'm doing now is just evaluating what I like about this area and deciding what we want to change. So this process of taking all these things out of the cabinet is something that I do every morning and it's something I'd like to change. Um, it used to work as a great system, but it's not really working for me anymore. It's an improvement that I would like to make. I also wanna get rid of the compost bin in the back there We do use this bin. We empty the used coffee into the bin and then spread those into the garden. So again, it's a system that we'd like to keep, but um, this emptying out of the coffee pods happens only about once a week or so. So instead of having this out on the counter at all times, I'm going to store it under the counter so it's not always visible. I'd like to remove is this water pitcher. Um, again, it's useful. Um, it stores all of our used coffee pods uh, until we are ready to empty them into the bin uh, or into the compost bin. But uh, we've come up with a better system that I think we're gonna like. So um, we're gonna remove that from the counter as well. The plan is to replace these things with containers full of our coffee and other things that we use in the mornings. Right now we store our coffee uh, and my collagen in these mason jars with bamboo lids, which I do like, but we decided to buy a matching set of containers that I'll show you in a moment. The rest of the coffee process goes pretty smoothly, so it's really just changing up a few things and sprucing the area. So we've evaluated our needs for this area. 
we know what we want to change. So the next step is to get in and clean it up. That black plug that you see there is to the echo dot that we have hanging on the wall of our kitchen. I love this tool for making grocery lists and playing music while we cook. So it's an essential. And uh, so it has to stay where it is until we find a better way. We'll just have to live with that cord. Although I am, uh, I do have a method of covering it up. Um, so I'll show you that later. And that uh, phone jack from the 90s, that's sort of that uh, beige box on the wall there. Uh, we're not going to replace that in this video, but my husband has ordered a plate to put over that so that it's white. In this drawer below the coffee maker uh, is some lids uh, that go to our containers. We've got some mason jars and some other food containers. Um, and so we're going to put these lids somewhere else so that they will be more useful in a different location. And we are going to clean that out as well. To make this drawer really useful, I got some plastic containers I'm going to fill with tea. And then this large one is going to be for our used coffee pods that need to be cleaned. I wanted to use a container like this to catch any mess those pods might make instead of just putting them directly into the drawer. And I'm also cleaning out this cabinet above. Into these drawer containers, I'm going to add my tea bags, which I realized here that I don't have many left. So that makes me think that transferring them to this clear container will help me realize when I'm running low on them. So that's a bonus. In this other smaller container, I'm going to put these chai bags for my kids. I actually do love a good chai sometimes as well, but my kids are really the big fans of chai in this house. So I'm going to put these in and my drawer setup is now complete. And that will stay empty for now, but as soon as we have a used coffee pot, we'll put it directly in there. And that's where those will live. Here are the containers that I ordered, washed and ready to go. And I'll leave a link for those down below in the description box if you'd like to check them out. And then here's something I'm really excited about. I got these cork holders for the coffee pods that adhere to the wall. So we're actually gonna put these inside of the cabinet above to hold all of our reusable pods, which means that uh, I have to move my nostalgic sign, but that's okay. I just found another place to hold on to that and that's okay. The Amazon reviews for these say that the adhesive on the back doesn't stick for a very long period of time and that they might start to fall off the wall. Um, so we're aware of that and we have some double-sided tape we can use if that actually happens. So far they're actually pre sticking pretty well though. I started by stacking these on top of each other in the cabinet, but this actually didn't work out that well uh, because when the pods are in the middle one, uh, they hit the shelf on the cabinet, which my husband pointed out to me when he came to get his morning cup of coffee. So he suggested I take the middle one out and move it up so that it clears the top shelf as well. So that's what I did. Sometimes it takes more than one intelligent mind 
to hang cork coffee pod holders. I also replaced the nightlight plugged in here. This one works great, but I found one that was a little cuter uh, to give the area a more cozy glow. And I think it just adds a little something warm to the space. And I like it very much. For the counter, I started with this idea of using a tray to put the coffee pot on and of course the containers. Uh, just something that would anchor the area and keep everything together and looking purposeful. I'm a big fan of trays, so I actually had a few lying around the house. Uh, I decided not to use this one since it was a little smaller than I thought, um, but you'll see later I have another tray that I actually decided to go with. Sometimes you just have to try a few different things before you find something that works right and is pleasing to the eye. Speaking of which, I wanted to show you the wind was blowing really hard outside and the leaves cutting through the light made such a pretty effect on my grandmother's old medicine bottles on my windowsill. That was really making me happy, so I just wanted to share. Then I decided to do some painting. I didn't really do a lot of heavy painting. I just touched up some spots that our hands had rubbed on the paint over the years on these cabinets, which we painted about five or six years ago in this really bright white color. And to prevent these spots like this from happening in the future, my husband actually installed some knobs on the cabinet doors. I had these knobs just lying around I got them at Habitat for Humanity Restore such a long time ago, several years actually, um, and we didn't do anything with them. Anyone else like that? Buy something because you think they'd be perfect for a project and then just let them sit for a while until you decide to make a video and put them on for good. Now it's my favorite time. It's time to decant into the new containers. As you can see, it's not exactly the comforting ASMR video I was hoping for, but it's real life the way it is, and that's okay. I filled this top cork board with some decaf coffee pods, especially now that it's getting cold outside. Sometimes I like to have a cup of tea or coffee at the end of the night, and I have to make sure it doesn't disturb my sleep, so I use decaf for that on occasion. So here's the inside of the cabinet. I still have the tools that I need here, and Everything seems to be a little warmer. 
a little more organized and a little more dopamine inducing. And here is the finished product. I really love the way the containers come together like that. This is some jasmine in my grandmother's medicine bottle that I put there to hide the cords to the Echo Dot. I have a jar full of spoons that I bought at a garage sale a long time ago that I thought would be perfect here. It's not a big change. It's not anything drastic. It didn't cost a lot of money. But it makes me happy. And that's the important thing. And tomorrow morning when I come to get my cup of coffee, I will think about how happy it makes me. And I will lower my blood pressure just by doing my daily tasks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next week. Enjoy.